Latest on the investigation into those classified top secret documents found now in the president's Delaware home in, according to Joe Biden himself, the same garage where he stores a classic Corvette. Joining us now for more, somebody who knows all about this, former acting U.S. Attorney General Matthew Whitaker. Um, great to have you back on. Uh, great to see you again. Um, a lot has changed, Matt, in the last 24 hours since you were on with us. Uh, you served as Attorney General. You know this stuff better than anyone. How unusual is it to see two special counsels investigating the current and former president at the exact same time? Uh, it's, it's incredibly unusual. Uh, you know, what I see here, Rob, is a, you know, a, an attorney general who was trying to put his thumb on the scale. We talked about it at the time when, when Jack Smith was appointed special counsel to investigate uh, Donald Trump. And now, you know, he, because of that appointment, which was, I felt at the time, I'm unnecessary uh, and heavy handed, and, you know, and all the things that were involved in that, the raid on Mar-a-Lago, the, the, the release of uh, the pictures of the classified documents. And now fast forward and Merrick Garland has himself a mess and he can't uh, get out of this. And so now you have a special counsel against a, a sitting president. It's always um, dangerous. Uh, and, and, you know, and, and I think Ultimately, it's not regular order at the Department of Justice. And so um, I think this, you know, this is this is going to be troubling for Joe Biden and his team. And I think it's going to take a lot of their attention away from trying to, uh, you know, work with and against Congress to implement his agenda. Just a quick one, and then I want to play you a soundbite. But what do you make of uh, the fact that her is a Trump appointee? Does that help? Does that I think there's this narrative out there that like, oh, he's a Trump appointee. He'll go after Biden. Not necessarily true, right? No, not at all. I mean, I worked very closely with Rob when he was the paid ag uh, working for Rod Rosenstein. And, you know, I, I know him well. Um, I, I respect him. I think he's a good man. Uh, I don't think you can read anything into his appointment, um, you know, at both as paid ag and ultimately as U.S. attorney in Maryland. Um, but, you know, I hope uh, that he takes this important role uh, seriously. I know he will try to apply the facts and the law. I think the real interesting question in my mind is, does Jack Smith and Rob Hurd, do they coordinate at all on the legal standard? Because, you know, they're, they're trying to apply the same law um, to, you know, facts that are slightly different, but substantially similar. The only difference, Rob, is that President Trump had an ability to declassify documents that may have been in his possession. Vice President Biden at the time had no ability to declassify anything. Right. It seems like it's apples to apples, not apples to oranges, maybe different types of apples, um, but a lot more similarities here. Uh, but you make a great point. Joe Biden had no ability to declassify anything at all until January 20th, 2021, when he took the oath of office and became president. Um, I'm curious. Let's play this out. How does it play out for both Trump and Biden? And does it hurt Joe Biden's case when he makes comments like this? Take a listen. Classified, classified material next to your Corvette. What were you thinking? Let me, uh, the, I'm going to get a chance to speak on all this, God willing, soon. But as I said earlier this week, people, and by the way, my Corvette's in a locked garage, okay? So it's not like you're sitting out in the street. I mean, it's just, it's utterly preposterous that top secret classified SEI documents would be in somebody's garage. It is. I was, I was, when I was handling those types of documents, I was nervous that it was out on my desk. And, you know, you just, I, I just feel like the cavalier attitude that he demonstrated there and really uh, a lack of seriousness because, you know, a lot garage is, it might as well be on the street, uh, you know, especially with the people, including Hunter Biden, that had access to that house uh, in Delaware. So, you know, I, I just think that the president has made some very um, uh, un, uh, not good statements on his behalf. You know, he said, uh, 60 Minutes interview famously said, you know, uh, made some critical statements against Trump. Those are now played against him. You know, this statement about the Corvette being in a locked garage equal, you know, and, and now we have a third tranche of documents that were found in his office in that same house right. in Delaware. It's just, it's, you know, when does it end for him? There is just an immense double standard. Uh, and I think, I think there's an element to this, Matt, where Joe Biden's been getting softball questions for 50 years now. He's been in, in elected office since 1972. That's when he was first elected to the Senate. And when he gets a tough question, it's almost like he's totally flummoxed and, and surprised that he's getting a somewhat adversarial question. Um, we'll pick yeah. this back up again next week. Uh, have a great weekend. Former Acting Attorney General Matthew Whitaker with Thanks, us. Bro. We appreciate it.